All right, it's been a minute, so I am gonna give you three designs in one video today. So we're going after a nice pastel holiday aesthetic, and we're starting out with a really cute little kind of gingerbread holiday house. I'm starting out by lining out my little gingerbread house with a chalk pencil, and then I'm gonna fill it in with Liquitex gesso just to give myself a nice base coat to help the paint have nice opacity and grip to the rock. You may remember the color scheme that I used during spooky season for some cute ghost rocks, and we're gonna use the same pink and green for these. So I'm gonna give this little house a base coat of the really light pink. I did have to give it two coats to get it nice and fully covered, but I kind of stretched it up toward the roof, but didn't go all the way to the top because we're gonna do a snow covered roof on this one. Now to start in on the snow, I'm gonna come in with a thin paintbrush and give some kind of wavy lines that will emulate kind of those drifts of snow hanging off of the eaves on the house. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in. Now I'm also gonna come back with the Liquitex Gesso and add a little chimney to this house and I'm gonna fill it in with the pink paint and then we're gonna have some snow cap coming off of the chimney as well. I'm bouncing around a lot on this design because something's drying and I'm gonna work on another end of it. So I'm gonna come down and draw a nice little kind of ovally shaped door on the house. And then I'm gonna take this light brown paint and fill in that little front door. Now I'm gonna bounce back and fill in that snow a little bit better on the chimney and get it nice and bright white. I'm using a paint pen this time so that I can have a little bit more control because it's a smaller space. Now I'm gonna take a paint pen and use it as kind of a base coat to draw out a cute little window above the door. And then I'm gonna fill that in with some Liquitex Gesso. And then I'm gonna come back with some light blue paint so that it kind of gives the appearance of a window. a little bit more dimension to that window I'm gonna take some full spectrum dragonfly glaze which is a very fine glitter paint and just give it a couple of coats on the window this glitter is so fine that when it dries it's nice and smooth and you can write over it really easily and I just wanted something sort of different than the glitter paint I'm gonna use on the snow and after that I'm going to create the window what are those things in the middle the crisscross there's a word for them and I'm gonna blame COVID brain, I can't remember what they are. Basically the window frame, and I'm gonna outline it in the same color that the door is. Now it's time to continue the sparkle. I'm gonna take some of my Extreme Hologram glitter paint, which is a nice iridescent glitter paint. I use it on everything, and I'm gonna fill in all of the snow, so the chimney and everything on the roof.
While that glitter is drying, I'm going to trace a circle with a large dotting tool onto my front door so I can take the light green paint and a dotting tool and I'm going to create a wreath using kind of a dot and drag technique. So I'm going with kind of an angle in one direction all the way around the circle and then I'm going to go into the center of the circle and do the dot and drag in the other direction and it kind of creates this look of shrubbery leaves it's just it was a really easy thing to do and it was kind of fun and I like how it turned out now we're going to take that snow to the next level with this holographic illusion glitter paint and I'm going to put it around the edges of all of our snow and this is a much more chunky glitter than the extreme hologram glitter paint and it's just going to create a nice border kind of a um just a dimension to the snow and of course sparkle and then flipping it back around again I'm going to put some berries on my wreath with the light pink paint so it pulls from the base coat of the main house itself and then I'm just going to add some swirls of kind of like snow drifts I'm not going to fill it in but just kind of snow drift swirls I'm going to add some white paint and some glitter paint to them just to add a little bit of some more winter to this. We've got the snow capped top, but it felt like it was just kind of floating randomly on the rock, so I wanted to kind of ground the house a little bit. And of course, there's a warm fire brewing in this little cabin, this little gingerbread house, so we gotta have a little bit of sparkly smoke coming out of the chimney. And you put a little resin on it, and this is what you get. Now let's switch gears and make a really easy holiday Christmas tree. So this is a really neat trick that I saw somewhere, I can't even remember, to draw the lines down the side of the tree and then connect them with the little scalloped lines. And I'm gonna fill this whole thing in with Liquitex Gesso for the same reason I did with the little house. I want it to have good coverage for the paint, have some good grip, and just kind of fill in any divots that might be on the rock. Then I'm gonna come in with that light green paint and I'm gonna fill in the entire tree. It did take a couple of coats to make sure we had full coverage, but this color is so light and mellow and I just kind of fell in love with this pastel aesthetic. Clear back to spooky season when I did the ghosts and I thought, oh man, that's like perfect for Christmas because these are kind of like derivatives of red and green. It's the pink and green in a nice, light, mellow tone. Now I'm going to come back in with that white paint pen and I'm going to add white scallops along each of the kind of layers of the tree and this is kind of like snow or kind of like a garland. I don't know, it's kind of whatever your imagination thinks but it, it kind of defines those scalloped lines that I created when I first lined out the design. Now I'm gonna take some gold paint and a dotting tool and add some pretty little gold ornaments all over the tree. And then I'm gonna come back through with an even smaller dotting tool and white paint and add additional dots. And they could be snow, they could be additional ornaments, whatever your little heart desires. But I think it, it added a really neat element to have them be so tiny and dainty next to the gold dots. And to really give it some sparkle, I'm gonna come back to that Holographic Illusions paint and I'm going to do all of the white scallops with a dotting tool with the chunkier glitter to give it some nice sparkle. And it also kind of ties it to the house, the little gingerbread house or holiday cabin, whatever you wanna call it. So if you were to hide all of these together, there's kind of like this unified design or it's just my unified design for painting and they're all gonna go to separate places. Who knows, haven't decided yet. 
This design is so super easy and I think it came out so stunning for how simple this little tree was. And you could make a pink one too if you wanted to have an opposite color one. Okay, now let's tie these three designs together with the simple sparkly snowflake. So again, I'm giving a nice Liquitex gesso coat and then I'm gonna add the pastel pink paint, just kind of a circle on the rock and give it a nice base coat. Now I'm just gonna use a white paint pen. It's not the most uh, full of ink, but I do come back and darken these up, but I'm just gonna make kind of a cross, and then I'm gonna have some intersecting lines that are a little bit shorter than the initial crisscross lines. And then snowflakes can be very simple. They're just gonna have, it, you could kind of think of it as arrows. When it was like Valentine's Day as a kid and you drew the little arrow through the heart, these, are the exact kind of ends that we're putting on the snowflake as well. And so again, also doing it on the shorter little crosshairs, I guess. And then I'm adding some dots to the ends of each of the snowflake um, tips, I guess you'd call them. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back through and add these little kind of triangles in the inner part of the snowflake just for some extra flair. And then here I am with the dotting tool, adding dots to the ends of each of the snowflake tips. I don't know what else to call them. I have no vocabulary, I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a disposable eyeliner brush and the Extreme Hologram glitter paint and just go over all of my white lines so that they have some sparkle. And then I'm gonna come back through with a dotting tool and hit all of those dots on the ends of the snowflake tips, just so that it has some fun sparkle and really catches your eye in the sunlight. And I also did a variation in green, so I've got two to go with my other designs, and I love how all of these came out. I love this pastel aesthetic, and I hope you do too. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch, and I will see you next time. Take care.